Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hello everyone. Have you ever had shitty beer? Well, we're here to try to help you with that. Help you come to terms with how shitty most beer is. As a matter of fact, we discovered when looking at last season that most beer isn't shitty, and in fact, we liked about two-thirds of it. Nonetheless, we're here to drink beer and let you know whether or not it's shitty. So that means three people's opinions are going to be shared with you, which means you might get scared and might need to get in a hug box. But nonetheless, here we go. First beer is Left Coast Asylum. Yep. Belgian Triple. Uh, Asylum is in the style of a Belgian Triple. It has a beautiful golden color. Its relatively light body is deceiving for a beer of its character. It has a sweet and spicy complex fruity aroma and flavor derived from our distinct Belgian yeast strain. Asylum finishes with subtle warming character to help you relax on any night. Asylum is an exceptionally smooth Belgian style brew. Drinking great beer brings the world together via Vraid. What is that? Is that Belgian? I have Belgian no isn't a language. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a dialect, though, isn't it? Belgian, yeah. Of French? Yeah. Is well, there's there's French and Dutch and German. Yep. Oh, is, is Belgium one of those countries? Is this, Belgium one of those countries where, like, five different languages are commonly spoken? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, there's, like, so many intersections. Yeah. It's like Switzerland with French and German and, and German. Spanish. Yep. yep. And I'm scared. I forgot this was a big bottle of this. All right. Well, looks like a triple. Smells, smells like a Belgian. Smells uh, like a it's Belgian. It's got that, that like, got raw that milk sm smell. I was going to say flavor <laughs> flavor and smell. Smaver. So it almost came Smaver. out. Smaver. <laughs> a Smaver Smaver. Smaver. Okay. But yeah, smegma maybe. A little bit of smeg. Smegma's weird. Whoa! Fuck! That is sweet! That's... God damn! That's cloyingly sweet. Jesus Christ, that's sweet! Sucks. Sucks. Sucks! Next beer. Alright, right. this beer. Okay, Wild Blue Blueberry Lager. Wild Blue is a blueberry lager that fuses the juice of nature's perfect fruit, blueberries with premium American and German hops, two row and six row barley malt and cereal grains. That's a lot. I had coffee. Wild Blue has a full taste with pleasant really blueberry won't. aroma and flavor and contains 8% alcohol by volume. It's fun. Eight? What? Eight? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god! It's fun and reverent spirit is conveyed in every aspect of the beer. From the bottle label that features a bulldog kicking a blueberry to its full bodied taste. Wild Blue is the perfect drink for adults who are thirsty for something new and will always be available in sleek 12 ounce amber glass bottles. It pairs well with light BDSM. So, 8% alcohol. <laughs> light BDSM. Can't do the heavy shit because that's not trendy. Eight mm. percent alcohol. Are you fucking serious? You s oh, I smell the blueberries already. And this is. Did you just see that color? Yeah, that's like wine. That's like fucking blueberry syrup at IHOP. Red yeah. water. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> purple. Them that's blue purple. This is Anheuser Busch. Holy, so you guys, no. Fuck. Holy shit. I can't- I don't even know if I could drink this. It doesn't even smell like beer at all. That smells like- <laughs> This smells like <laughs> fucking- This smells blueberry like- Blueberry juice. Blueberry like syrup. It's like sickeningly- Ooh. Sweet smelling. 
Kool Aid or something. I yeah, very Kool Aidy, like that. Oh my god, sucks. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? That is that is Holy almost shit. That's almost as sweet as Asylum. Dude, here's the thing. Can I say that it sucks as a beer? This is terrible. But it tastes like I'm drinking fucking fruit juice. Yeah, this is like blueberry juice. Yeah, if it were sweetened with Splenda. No, you know what this is? This is blueberry malt liquor. That's like colored kind of dark. That's yeah. what this is. This is god awful. This is like girlfriend beer. Yeah. I don't like that term. That's that's very sexist. I don't give uh, a fuck. <laughs> significant other beer? But but you see that sounds dumb too. You know what? Let's call it what this is. It's a shitty, shitty beer. beer. Shitty Sucks. Beer. Wow. All right. Here number the last one. I hope this one is better than the last two. All right, here we have Wells Bionic Bread Beer. Bionic. This unique. Oh, I'm sorry, banana. Banana bread beer. <laughs> bionic bread beer. This unique brew combines all the traditional qualities and style of Charles Wells beer with the subtle flavor of banana. Well, if you let the banana get ripe, it's not as subtle anymore. Some people call that rotten. I call it good. Wells Banana Bread Beer is a popular beer in the Wells and Young's range of ales and has achieved a number of accolades. Accolades. Available as a drought, <laughs> seasonal cask beer, Wells Banana Nanana Bread Beer can be found on the bar in its popular bottle format in all leading supermarkets. Wells Bionic Bread Beer. Uh, uh, banana, yeah. banana. <laughs> banana. Sorry. Banana. Fuck you. Okay, banana. We're going to try this beer. 5.2% alcohol. And actually, that made me think about something about the 8% alcohol. I almost the... bought a pack of this down at ye old gas station. Yeah. Which, you know, actually would have been a TH sound as someone very boring that we both know explained to me because the thorn actually made a th sound, mm -hmm. but it looked like a Y. Mm. And that's where the ye comes from. Mm. So it's not ye old. It's actually the old. The old. But it's fun to say the ye old. Because um, then people know what you're talking about. Yep, ye oldie. Actually, I poured you too much. Give me some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty yeah. beer. That's a pretty beer. Um, no, but I thought about something when talking about the alcoholic percentage. This is only 5.2, whereas the Wild Blue is 8.0. We could chug the shit out of this. I realized something about that after we stopped filming was that it it's has... Malt liquor? No, that has a very strong cough syrup thing going. Oh. Uh, you is, can see it now, can't you? Yeah. This is looks fairly carbonated. There's some. There's fairly some, carbonated. It's there's very clear and it's the glass. amber. This is a very pretty beer. But it smells it smells banana y as smells fuck. banana y as fuck. Not fake banana. No, real banana. It smells like you just peeled a fucking banana. Ha! That's good. I'm still, I'm still like lusting Smelling over it. the nose. I couldn't restrain myself. Me it's neither. like I didn't even say anything about how it smelled before I started drinking. You're I was just like, like, man, this is just so good. You're just like, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> the mouth feels really thin. That's my only complaint. Oh, yeah. the finish is kind of short. Yeah. The but, finish, I mean, for me, the finish is, well, no, it's there, but it's not really there. This is a really good beer, though. The banana is nice. I'd it's, say it's, it's more like banana pudding than it is like banana bread. There's a creamy sort yeah, of quality to it. Yeah, but, See, to, but me, it's to me, it's more like the bread. Like, I'm this really reminds me of banana bread. But I love it. Let me have another sip. Because I'm kind of torn. I see I see both sides of the argument here. Maybe, I feel like this maybe could the be... the cookies in the banana pudding, but not like mm. proper bread. Now, this... If it was like, maybe a bit heartier... This I is really good, but I, I can't help but see the ways that this could be better if it were more malty and had a thicker mouth. Yeah, exactly. If, if this was a bit stouter of a beer, mm -hmm. then this would be like the banana bread beer. Because like with that malt there, that's... Mm. That would be so awesome. Which it's is, really good, yeah. but it could be even more good. Which is why I'm going to have to lean with Mike on this. This is definitely more of the banana pudding rather than the banana bread beer. But there's, there's some vanilla too. There yeah, is some vanilla. There is some vanilla yeah. there. But this is definitely a nice vanilla change wafers. over the beers that we just had. Holy shit. 
this is a huge improvement. I think I think that those two back to back might have been the worst back to back beers what we've had ever. This has uh that was uh, this is hopped with those like ultra bitter hops that are kind of soapy to me at times. I don't but get the, that. But the beer is still well you wouldn't. <laughs> I mean <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're right, but I'm I'm just letting you know. By the way, I, I'm not like one of those people that thinks they're like special. You know what I'm talking about? How there's like those groups of people that just need to feel special. Mm-hmm. Like I, I am totally honest about what I taste and smell. I don't like feel the need to be special. <laughs> this I beer, my personality will differentiate me from the crowd just fine this beer features fair trade <laughs> bananas fair and, trade bananas and mineral and mineral water oh. now the thinness of this kind of like does remind me of like light lagers and stuff yeah but it's just more competent all in all it's still a light malt beer and it's and to me it's not very hoppy but the bananas just the banana flavor in it is so good it's it's incredibly well done. Like it definitely, come, like what it's trying to do comes across. Like if you didn't know that this was Wells Banana Bread Beer, like if you just knew it, like Beer X, I think what they're trying to do comes across very apparently. Mm-hmm. Granted, it could be done a little bit better, but I still think it's done very well. Yeah, and this is a very 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 good beer. And when I bought some for the show, Alyssa was like, you better save me some of that shit. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. She threatened to kill me. She'd do it, too. She would. I wouldn't put it past her. Yeah, she loves this shit. It's goddamn good beer. It's amazing. So what do you gentlemen think? It sucks. This sucks. Sucks. It's, Uh. it's, It's amazing. Fuck this beer. (laughs) It's amazing. The Belches have a strong banana... As they should. As well. Are they yeah. pleasant? They are. Yeah, pleasant belt. Just the after, after finish. finish. The after, after finish, finish is uh, pleasant. Yeah, Wells Banana Bread beer does not suck. Does not suck. Thank God. This is a good beer. This um, right here is a good beer, man. Anyone who has a weird palate like mine, you know, because we're special people and better than everybody else. No, <laughs> in all seriousness. Anyone that has kind of a weird palate like me and gets like the soapy hops thing, there's a little bit of that there, but I mean, it. it it's a really good beer. That's just all there is to it. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's going to do it. That's it for this uh, episode. Mike, take us out. All right, everybody. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and sue us. Uh, How many, you know, actionable things do you think were in this episode alone? Two? Two? You were counting. Two? Are you like our legal counsel? Or what? The closest thing we can fucking have to that sort of thing? Okay. So, remember, rate, comment, subscribe, sue. And uh, we're going to start opening up uh, these new things. You know how they've got like a crate for everything? Well, there's one called the drunk drunkard crate. No, not not really. But damn, we should do that. Mm. Mm. And just put stuff like... Anyway. So take it easy. Uh, goodbye, our legion of fan. Oh, I thought, I thought we were going to keep going.